according to Aubrey O'Day Diddy attempted to use publishing rights to purchase her silence. Aubrey O'Day, a former member of Danity Kane, asserts that Sean Diddy Combs bought silence when he decided to transfer publishing rights to musicians signed to Bad Boy Records in 2023. The publishing deal arrived. I am aware of its contents. In an exclusive clip from TMZ's upcoming documentary, TMZ Presents, The Downfall of Diddy, which premieres on Two by this Sunday, O'Day states, I know how much money it was giving me. The singer alleges she was promised $300.30 in exchange for a full release against all claims against Diddy and many other players, but she never signed the contract. When asked by host Harvey Levin what she thought Diddy's motivation was in releasing the rights, she claims, I think you would probably be making moves to keep as many people quiet as possible. O'Day, 40, goes on to say it would not have made her financially whole again. It asked me specifically to stay silent and never speak poorly about a human. So then I realized, something really bad is coming, she concludes. A source with knowledge of the situation tells Page Six, Aubrey O'Day got her big break because Diddy and Bad Boy cast her in their show with her group, Danity Kane. Last year, when he reassigned his portion of the publishing to Bad Boy Artists, an unprecedented move within the industry in which he did not have to do, not all artists signed an NDA. Diddy's representatives did not respond to Page Six's request for comment right away. Diddy, who established Bad Boy Records in the 1990s, made the unusual decision to return all of the label's writers and performers with his publishing rights in September 2023. Combs stated to Variety at the time, it's just doing the right thing. I believe that we need to take a hard look at ourselves and move ahead as a people and as an industry. It's about changing, setting an example, and bringing necessary reform to a sector of the economy and a society that both require it.